Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine and in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how to basically keep your makeup on all day when you're wearing a mask or prevent it from smudging like it does, like it tends to do. And basically just giving us the opportunity to slay even during this mask season if we will call it that. So before we hop into the video, I'm gonna ask you guys to hit that subscribe button down below. We're on the road to 8K. We're almost there, baby. So go ahead and press that button if you're not subscribed. Go ahead and do that. And after you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification button so that every single time I post a video, you'll be the first to know about it. All right, y'all, so let's hop right in. Okay, guys, so we know COVID. We know pandemic. We know coronavirus. Okay, listen, so I'm just gonna tell y'all like it is. I'm an advocate for wearing masks. I know a lot of people are like tripping, saying like it's fake, like whatever, fake news, blah, blah, blah. People be tripping out here, okay? About wearing masks and acting like it's such an inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Listen, 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 listen. Let's just say that it is fake news and let's just say that it's fake. So wearing a mask, the only thing that's gonna hurt if the coronavirus is fake or whatever, the only thing that's gonna hurt is you for a few minutes running in and out the store. You're just gonna be like, oh, I can't breathe for a little bit. That's what these people be saying. I can't breathe with it on. I need a right to breathe. Girl, bye. So let's just say it's fake. The only thing that's hurting is you, right? By wearing a mask. You just can't breathe for a little few minutes. If you go out, you don't have to go out. But if you go out, that's the only thing that's gonna hurt, right? But let's say coronavirus is real and you decide to not wear a mask. You're spreading it, you're being susceptible to it. So th that's just my whole thing. We're just gonna say that right here and right now. I'm added to the wearing masks. It's gonna do more harm by not wearing them than it will by wearing them in whatever scenario you believe. Whether you believe this is fake or whether you believe it's not, I'm just breaking it down for y'all like that, okay? Even if you don't know what to believe, it's not hurting anything by just wearing a mask. You'd rather be safe than sorry. The only thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna inconvenience you for maybe 10 minutes where you run your errands, whatever. You're just gonna be a little out of breath. If that, I breathe with it perfectly fine, okay? But some people be acting like they can't breathe, like it's like really cutting off their oxygen level. Bye. But anyway, I just wanna let y'all know that. So that's the reason why I'm doing this video is because I wanna show you guys how to wear makeup when you're wearing your mask because it's the right thing to do. And um, yeah, how we can keep that makeup from smudging, transferring, and just being able to last all day long even if you're wearing a mask. So I already did my eyebrows, y'all. Y'all know I used the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5 today. Just went ahead and did that off camera because I feel like that really doesn't have anything to do with making sure your skin and makeup lasts um, because mask is not up here, so whatever. So first things first. We're gonna make sure that our skin is nice and moisturized, okay? Because the more our skin is moisturized, the better the makeup will stay and the better your makeup will last, okay? Even if you have oily skin, I have oily skin, but I'm still gonna make sure my skin is moisturized so it's not pulling from my makeup for any type of oils or blah, 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 you know? So I'm using the CeraVe SA Cream, and y'all, this is a moisturizer for rough and bumpy skin. First of all, this is like a medicated moisturizer, but it's super like you literally need nothing like look how much I'm putting on it it just is supposed to help clear your skin up but I really love this moisturizer and I've had this forever and I still have a lot left it's just one of the best moisturizers that I have honestly ever used in my life like this little bit makes my skin feel like it's like plump and like just hydrated I don't know it just does everything I needed to so now that we're nice and moisturized, we're actually gonna go in with a primer and I'm gonna be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer today. And guys, go for a primer that will really make your makeup stick. And I know there's like lots of other like satin finish like primers and stuff. I wouldn't suggest using one of those for a long lasting smudge proof, transfer, transfer proof uh, makeup look. I will go for something that is more like a gel, um, something that just is really sticky um, after you put it on your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and use just a little bit and just put that on my face everywhere. And then you just wanna make sure that you really concentrate the primer on the bottom half of your face as well. I know typically like with my primers, I kinda just go for like this cheek area right here and then my forehead because like, I mean, let's be real, I don't get oily like on my chin. But for mask makeup, you know, you gotta make sure that you're making your makeup stick everywhere. All right, so it's nice and sticky right now and we're gonna go ahead and apply our foundation while it's sticky like this so that it really glues together, okay? I know you're gonna hate me for using this foundation because I've been using it for like the past, 
probably like five videos. But I'm using the Born This Way um, Matte Foundation by Too Faced. And y'all, I'm using this foundation because First of all, it's matte, and I feel like matte foundations work much better with lasting longer throughout the day um, rather than like satin finish, right? They just like kind of lock down on your skin. And I'm also using this foundation particularly because it has a 24 hour wear. And this foundation, like I will attest to that, that it does last for a long time, like no matter what's going on, whether you're like a little sweaty. I was wearing this foundation when I was in Cabo and I, it, it was hot down there, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, y'all know it was hot. And this makeup was, this makeup was wearing. I barely sweat through it at all and I'm oily, I'm sweaty and it, it didn't break, y'all. It was great. So. That's why I'm using this. So honestly, if y'all want to try this foundation, I already did a separate review on it. Y'all can go check that out. But definitely get you a foundation that has long wearability, is matte, and really like foolproof. And I'm just blending it out with a brush so that we get maximum coverage so that if some does kind of t come off, which it naturally just will, let's be real y'all, it's not going to not come off. Something's gonna come off a little bit, a little bit. Even if, the, even with the best methods, a little bit gonna come off. That's just, that's just what's gonna happen. But I'm using the brush so that I can get maximum coverage, maximum power. And I'm using stippling motions so that the product is really just set into the skin. I'm breaking out so much down here. Like, I've been wearing a mask a lot lately and I just have acne all on that side of my face. y'all so now that the foundation's blended all out we're actually gonna go in with some setting spray already yes yes you heard me right we're going in with some setting spray right now i'm using the morphe mattifying continuous mist i'm using this spray because it's mattifying and i'm gonna make sure to low-key use it between every single one of my steps for real this is gonna this is gonna make a last baby i promise you it is so go ahead and let's spray your face if you want to take a brush i mean a sponge and just kind of put that setting mist in Tap lightly, don't tap hard because you don't want to lift the product underneath the foundation. But just kind of pat it in, it's very soft like. So now that our face is like dried down after that setting spray, we're going in with concealer. First I'm going to be going in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And this is in the shade Warm Sand. If you guys are curious about any of the shades, it'll be down below along with links. And I'm going in with this concealer very generously and I'm bringing it down a little more so than I have been lately. So like I know like um, concealer has kind of change like where we've placed it a lot like just in the beauty community it kind of went from this perfect triangle to like more just higher up but for this look i would say go down a little further just because our masks are going to be covering right here so we want to make sure that we have multiple layers of makeup so that if one layer kind of comes off with the mask then you'll have another layer underneath so i'm taking this first layer of concealer pretty low so now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my brush and my sponge. All right, y'all, so that um, concealer is blended out, and I know we look crazy right now. I know we do, but listen, baby, we gotta put lots of layers in order for our makeup to stay, okay? So when you take that mask off, you still you have makeup on, because how you gonna look when you try to be cute, do your makeup, and you take the mask off, and right here is gone, and you just have makeup from the eyes up? That's gonna look stupid. So that's why we have so many layers going on right now. I know it's kind of a lot, but trust the process, okay? So next I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm gonna be putting that where I would normally conceal, just kind of under the eye but not as big of a um, triangle. We need layers, baby, we need layers, okay? Okay, y'all, so we're looking real bright. I low-key feel like the camera is like low-key malfunctioning a little bit because of how bright we are looking. But now, again, let's go ahead and spray ourselves with the setting mist. 
We just want each layer to be set. That's it. That's it. We just want each layer to be set. Set, set. And you can go ahead and press it in again with the sponge. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and set our face. I'm using the Fit Me Maybelline Medium Deep Setting Powder. Y'all know I don't switch it up with the powders at all. Um, this powder is just really good and I would suggest something that is skin light because we're really gonna be pressing um, the, the powder into our skin. So we don't want it to be like super yellow, super pale, super white. So try to pick one that is your skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press it into the skin. I mean, I usually kind of do this anyway, but y'all, like you wanna go ham, okay? And you low key wanna put it on your whole cheek. I would say down to where you might contour and just make sure that that boy is pushed in and then go a little bit under the nose and then I would take any excess and just set the rest of the face down here not so much that it gets like color or anything but just to set that y'all we looking crazy I know I know it'll come together it'll come now I'm just setting like my forehead and stuff like usual because obviously we're not putting masks on our forehead I guess though if you're doing like one of those face shields that like connect right here you could do the same method but just kind of go up here instead of putting focusing a lot of effort on this part of your face focus it on your forehead now I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face just like I usually do we're not really gonna be emphasizing any extra doing any extra steps or anything like that I'm using the black radiance um, contour kit I'm also just kind of contouring my nose freely. I'm gonna kind of push that bronzer into my eyes just for like an eyeshadow because I really didn't do anything with my eyes. But you could use a more detailed brush if you want, but I'm just kind of squishing this bronzer brush and kind of putting it where it needs to go. Real lazy. All right, y'all, so next I'm going in with blush. I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek, um, and this is a matte blush, too. It's kind of like a creamy matte. I don't really know how to describe it, but I really like this blush, and I do feel like this blush will last longer than any other powder blush. I feel like powders tend to just kind of float away, and especially with a mask on, it'll just float away. But this is like a cream, a creamy consistency. I would definitely suggest this, y'all. Again, the more layers, the better. And I'm just kind of blending my contour with my concealer with this blush, essentially. Now, if you guys wanna put on highlighter, this would be the point where you would do so. Um, I'm not gonna put on highlighter just cause I don't really, I don't know, I haven't been in the highlighter lately. Since vacation, like I don't know. I just haven't really been with it. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and, you guessed it, spray my face one more time. And, again, dab everything in so now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara on my bottom lashes so lastly we're gonna go ahead and do lips I'm just gonna be using this NYX um, lip liner in the color nutmeg Okay, so lips are lined. And listen, something I've been super into lately has been putting on chapstick with lip liner and just, it gives it like a really, really natural look. I love that. So if you guys wanna go ahead and do that little trick, you just apply some chapstick and then to finish it all off, we go ahead and set your lips with some um, translucent setting powder. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put on a matte liquid lipstick today just because I have a few things to do and I don't know. I just kind of want to put a matte lip on. I really barely ever do, so let's do that. So I'm going to be going in with um, a matte liquid lipstick by Monet Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Dahlia. This is just like a really pretty brown. And I'm just going to be using a lip brush and just kind of blending that out with my liner. Okay, boom. So lips are done, and y'all, pretty much this is going to be the final look. Did I miss any steps? Mm, I don't think so. I'm not doing highlighter. Did the lips, did the eyes. We really didn't, I didn't focus on eyes today just because obviously this video is more about skin. You can do whatever you want with the eyes. Eyes aren't being covered, okay baby? So do whatever you want. But yeah, y'all, I think this is gonna be the final look. Oh my God, y'all. The um, setting spray is in my hair and it, like I feel like a cast over my head. 
that's funny I gotta wipe that off in a second but yeah y'all I know we look like super full coverage but listen this is how you have to do it you either go full coverage or you go no makeup I mean the if you do want to do like a little light bead like if you want to do like a little something simple it's not gonna last I'm telling you right now it's not gonna last under a mask it maybe something up here will but something under here is not it's gonna get hot under there. your breath gonna be baking the makeup off and it's just not gonna last so my number one tip for making your makeup last under a mask would have to be go big baby full coverage do it up all right y'all so now for the little test trial we about to do okay so I got like my mask here okay we got the white side and the blue side oh I almost forgot the most important step you want to spray the inside of your mask with setting spray right so just how it created like a cast in my hair literally like it feels like I have like something like a coating on my head it's gonna do the same thing for the mask so let's go ahead and really get that in there baby and I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry all right child so the mask is dry so we're ready for the big reveal y'all okay so remember we sprayed it on the white side it's still a little wet and I hope that doesn't like affect anything because I really did spray the heck out of this but it's like setting spray so I'm thinking it wouldn't so let's go ahead put it on Whew, okay, so I'm gonna wear it how I'd normally wear it if I was, you know, going somewhere. Put your nose down a little bit. We're talking. You don't talk that much when you're out, right? Because you just be everybody be sick. Everybody, you don't want to talk to nobody. So you just keeping yourself. Hey, y'all, what's going on? Do y'all like my new braid? My little braided hairstyle. It's cute. I got the idea from Tierra Walker. Um, this is my first time ever doing something like this. But yeah, I'm just talking to you so I can. Um, talk and like we'll see if this like transfers or not so hey okay <laughs> now let's check <gasps> y'all I know it's kind of bright but listen okay there's nothing on this mask like I mean I'm lying if I were to say there's nothing but I've worn makeup with a mask on and I've got way more makeup on it than this, y'all. It's like, I'll show you. Ugh, let me turn the lights down real quick. Okay, can you guys see it now? Look it, look it. That was all me talking, y'all. I was moving my mouth nonstop. And look it, it's just that little bit of makeup on my chin. And honestly, I probably didn't set my chin as much as I did the rest of my face, just because like, I was, I don't know, I just was fixated on like the cheeks. But y'all, that's the makeup on the face. Now I know damn well that I've been putting makeup on and I've been like um, putting makeup on and putting a mask on and then I take the mask off and it's literally brown. And I know y'all done the same. But not today. Not today, baby. But anyway, you guys, that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope that this video showed y'all how y'all can still have y'all face beat out here during a pandemic, okay? Obviously, limit your outings. Don't be going out if you don't need to. But in those few cases that you do and you feel like you want to run your essential errands with a beat faced, go ahead and do it, boo. We see it right here. We see it right here. The evidence is going to work. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I would love for you guys to join my family. We're on the road to 8K. We are almost there. Let's make it happen. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if this helped you out or if there are any other tips and tricks that you think I should try in the future. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.